the Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Ince. Brought to you by Gate City Bank and Pepsi. Well, the famous movie line quote from the Wedding Crashers, crab cakes and football, that's what Maryland does. Well, the crab cakes are really good out here on the East Coast, but leave the football to the Bison. A dominant effort once again on the road. NDSU comes into Towson and beats the Tigers by the score of 35-7. to Hello again, everybody. Jeff Colhane here with you, the head coach, Matt Entz, as well. The Bison Football Show brought to you by Gate City Bank. Coach, congratulations. Thank you. Another dominant workmanlike effort from your football team. Your biggest takeaways from how your team played on Saturday well, night? We challenged them all week. We have to start fast. We have to start fast. I thought there were some games so far this year that we came out a little bit sluggish, not intentionally, but you saw the first three drives today were all probably 80 plus yards. Uh, we had a huge stop left. defensively. Uh, they, had a, they had a great return on a kickoff. Code Green got out there. Uh, our defensive staff did a tremendous job of playing great red zone defense and then right back at it. Uh, I think at halftime we had uh, close to 400 yards total offense. And so so it, it was it was a productive night. Question about that. You talk about starting fast. Mm -hmm. You got it going right away. First drive of the game, Tight Quincy Patterson well. the second. Patterson it's Christian play. Watson down the field. Throw. Deep ball, 67-yard touchdown Watson strike. Right That's what those two are, are building that rapport a little bit, aren't they? They are. I mean, just remind that our quarterback works with our skilled kids. It doesn't matter if it's the mesh on the run game with our tailbacks or some of the jet sweep or the, the perimeter run game that we execute. There's a comfort level that comes with that. And for us to be able to get Quincy behind their safety and quarters coverage, uh, it says a lot about, because they were playing off tonight. They, yeah. they, they weren't going to try to get down. I think they were concerned about our speed on the perimeter. Yep. Did you guys, with, with Quincy's progression in mind, taking step by step, game by game, how many, how many more items did you feel like you threw at him tonight to, to keep moving him in that right direction where you want him to go? There was some game that was mm -hmm. definitely included, uh, and we tried to spread the ball around a little bit, getting fullbacks down the seam. We got, um, I believe it was on our, one of the series late in the second quarter, you saw us get uh, Kobe Johnson right down the tube. Yeah. And that's something that is new, again, expanding the playbook, making sure teams have to defend all 53 in a third yards. Yeah. From sideline to sideline, you have to be ready to defend us. Yep, the running game, the Rams, impressive mm -hmm. once again. No, Dominic Ganella, you know, a little breather pregame, get himself going, get himself yep. ready to rock. But man, when the uh, the boot met the ball, Dominic was uh, was locked in. He was gashing them pretty good. He, he, another great evening for him. Kobe only had a couple carries, but they were really good. Had the big catch, like I talked about, to Merrick Williams coming in. I think yeah. he six carries for 80 yards. Angry yeah. runs, coach. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Hurdling people. I mean, it, we have a stable full of, of of high caliber football players, guys that want to continue to get better. And so yeah, we're going to coach them up next week. But this this was a really good road victory for us, and um, there's a lot of distractions or a lot of potential distractions, rabbit holes you can fall down uh, or get sucked into, and, and our kids did a great job of avoiding those. Talked a lot about the offense. We'll talk plenty about Code Green. They were fantastic once again, but first, let's take a look at our first half highlights presented by Gate City Bank. Eisen have emerged. Both teams actually are housed in this short corner here, down to our left field. Uh, Pumphrey will jog to the mid right side. Tight end left as well. Patterson play action, wants to throw. Patterson oh, looking. There. He's got Watson wide open. Home run ball. Caught. 20, 10. Trot in there, baby. Christian Watson. 67-yard touchdown strike over the top to Christian Watson. Devin Matthews to the left of Ferguson in the gun. Snap back, zone read to give Matthews. Runs into Hankey. He's not going to get there. Code green. First tight to the line to the left. Tight end to the right. The give to Howard. He didn't get there. Jerry Howard Jr. driven back. And how about Lane Tucker flying through? Ends to the left. Johnson to the right of Patterson in the gun. Lipke in motion left to right. The give to big Hunter Lipke. He's got an alley. 40, 35, 30. Cuts it back and tripped up at the 24-yard line. Somehow Mark Collins got a hand on the foot with Watson engaged with him. He a golden harvest seeds first down. Sproles in motion left to right. They give it to Phoenix on the jet sweep. To the 20, to the 15, to the 10. Cuts it back. Knocked down just shy of the goal line at the one. And a toss to Hunter Lipke. Lipke, he trots into that end zone for an easy Bison touchdown. In North Dakota, and ready to serve when it matters most. No Nack Insurance Company. Jeez. Out of the timeout, a big run by 
Dominic Ganella breaking tackles across the 40 to the 45 to the 47 yard line. Five from the 33 of Towson. Patterson will throw, delayed blitz coming. Patterson lofts it down the middle of the field. Caught, Kobe down to the two yard line. He beat the middle linebacker Christian Dixon and a beautifully thrown ball by Quincy Patterson down to the two. Two tight ends to the right, trips to the left. Quarterback power right side. Quincy Patterson, the stiff arm, trot in there baby. Two, easy. Quincy Patterson, the second for six more. A lot of great highlights there from the Bison in the first half. Taking a look now at our halftime stats brought to you by Nodak Insurance Company. You, were, you said it, Coach. First half, 339 to 48 mm -hmm. in total offense right. in the first 30 minutes of play. I mean, you, you say the term complimentary football all yep. the time. Your offense and defense were doing that and then some. They did. Uh, big stop, and then we go down and score. Uh, you know, really the only unfortunate or thing you wish you had back was the big kick return during the course of the game or early in the first half but otherwise it was steady offensive movement production efficiency third and short second and shorts uh, downs that we need to convert and then getting them into third and fourth down and and and, and like I said having some stops on fourth down as well and, and giving the offense an opportunity to get back on the field yep they got better for the herd in the final 30 minutes as well in this dominant win at Towson We'll take a time out. Stay with us. More to come on the Bison Football Show. Better starts with convenience. Our 43 convenient locations make running errands easy. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing. Which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. And this means better ways to brighten your day. Gate City Bank. For a better. Since Nodak Insurance Company started, we've gone from paying by mail to paying online. Your proof of insurance in the glove box has changed to a quick tap to our online app. And as new technologies make farming more efficient, our coverage ensures you're always protected. The way we live and work has changed, but our values, service, and commitment have remained the same. Nodak is constantly evolving to meet your insurance needs and deliver answers where and when you need them most. Nodak Insurance Company, agents with answers. And welcome back to the Bison Football Show here from Towson, Maryland. 35-7 win. Mm -hmm. What was your message? I mean, it was, I know the end of the first half, there were a couple of things there that you, you probably could have some teachable yep. moments with. What was your message in the locker room with the lead and getting the ball to start the second half and to begin the third quarter? Don't let up the gas. We came out here to play a full game. 
Uh, you don't, there's, there's no bonus points. Mm -hmm. There's nothing given to having great halves. You need to play a full game. And I, I think we came out with the right mentality early in the, in the, in the, sec, in the second half. Yep. We did a nice job. Uh, we, we really played well in the, in the third quarter. Mm -hmm. And besides the penalty late, you know, giving them about seven shots inside the yeah. five to score, that was really the only negative thing that I could say that, that I could think of yeah. right now. I'm sure there'll be something on film as we go forward. Yep, Jackson Hankey, we'll get to him in a little bit. He's our NODAC Insurance Company player of the game, but led the way with eight tackles mm -hmm. uh, overall. You mentioned being backed up earlier in the game uh, after a big kickoff return. Your defense bows up. Uh, the third down defense tonight mm -hmm. was absolutely fantastic. I believe two for 14 yep. on third downs uh, allowed. Um, where, do you, where do you like with uh, your defense right now with where they're at? What's impressing you the well, most? Well, just playing with a sense of urgency. I think if you include fourth down, they were four of 18. Yep. And so th th that's a lot of possessions for the offense. That, hopefully that can turns into time of possession and goes back to that complimentary football. Mm -hmm. you know, our best defense is when we're on the sideline. And, and we don't have to play an offense is being a f efficient, not only in our gun run game, but our tailback run game as well. Yep, got a safety uh, in this contest. Yep. That's always got to put a smile on your face, I'm it, sure, as a defensive is. guy. And seeing a little defensive two-point touchdown is always a positive thing. And uh, it, it was fun to see our guys. I mean, there's a lot of urgent enjoyment out here. They have fun yep. playing together. Um, and that's why it's fun to go to work every day. Yep, we'll most start. Mm -hmm. We'll talk a lot about Eli. Will got a couple of sacks in there tonight. <laughs> He's pretty dynamic. I mean, <laughs> they look alike. They play a lot alike. And Sound so, alike. Uh, we are extremely fortunate to have both those young men part of our program. Uh, I don't. I think they're only scratching the surface of where they can be. Uh, continue to challenge them. Coach Buddha, Coach Gazer do an outstanding job preparing those guys to work. And it, they don't. They don't operate like 18, 19 year olds. I mean, they're they're doing a really good job. Yep. 35 to seven, the final. Let's take a look at our second half highlights. Brought to you by Gate City Bank. A first down, now six of seven on first down. On the first and 10 play, handoff to Merrick Williams, bursting through right side, 30, 25, 20. Ooh. He leaps over a defender inside the 20-yard line, down near the 18. Sitting in the gun, two receivers left. Here is the give, Bussy running off left side, to the outside, the bus burst through, to the five, and always oh, tripped up near the two. And Williams, the big back. Here is the handoff, Williams up the middle. He dives into the end zone. Superman's into the end zone. Tamaric Williams, the SMU transfer. And we're playing the better football tonight. Ferguson has time on first and 10. Now he will run. He slides down at the 23. Howard off to his right. Here's a quick toss to Howard, running right. Blockers in front, breaks a tackle at the 30, knocked it a balance at the 32. Or two receivers right, one to the left, split backs. Quick toss, near side to the speedy yep. Hunter, yep. stops, yep. cutting back, nowhere to go. I mean, white shirts everywhere. Howard to the right of Ferguson in the gun. Here comes pressure, Ferguson grab. Will Mostart got him with the sack. Third down and three. Snap back, twist up front. Ferguson grabbed and he's sacked back at the eight yard line. <laughs> High school, second down, handoff. Williams burst through to Merrick Williams with speed across the 45, out near the 40 and down to the 38 yard line. Shout out instructions. Here's a stretch play right side to Williams. Has a hole, 20, cuts it back, 15. Still running hard and pushed out of bounds at the 13 yard line. Second down and seven at the 48. Ferguson, two receivers left and right. Home run ball oh, near no. sideline. Has Smith, catches it at the seven and brought down at the five. Are you watching the radio announcers? Yes, Diane, you are. Here's a handoff, Howard oh. left side. Spins off of Kubitz into the end zone for a Towson touchdown. Travel well once again. Ferguson on second and 10. Pocket collapses, rolling right. Throws over the middle, caught by Hunter at the 36. Brought down at the 38 by Wirtz and Wadarsik. Gain of 13. Empty backfield. Eli Mostart drops into traffic. Oh, caught and laid out. Marquis Siegel. We're down and eight. Three receivers left, two to the right, four-man rush. Here they come. They're grabbing Ferguson. They have him. They're going to bring him down for a sack from behind. I think nearly every defensive lineman got a hand on him. Loshaka Rokes cleans him up. His second career sack right there. 
Uh, great highlights there from the herd and a dominant effort, 35 to 7. Our final game stats brought to you by Nodak Insurance Company coach. You outgained know, them 493 to 195. We talked about the third down defense. Mm -hmm. Your third down offense was great tonight, and uh, I feel like another step forward in the right direction for your team early in the year. Th that's been the challenge. That's been the one that our staff and myself have laid out: is how can we incrementally continue to improve. Uh, we, we don't have to have these huge leaps and bounds every week, but we just got to keep getting a little bit better every day, every period, every week. And so far, this team's bought into that mentality. Um, but I think that's one that that's a recipe that we've utilized here for years mm -hmm. is our best football is going to be played late in the year. And I like where we're at right now. We're relatively healthy. Um, are there things that we can do better that we saw tonight? Of course there will. And I'll take a look at those on the plane tonight. Yep. Code Green dominant once again. Jackson Hankey, the senior out of Park River, our Nodak Insurance Company player of the game. Ferguson in the gun, snap back, zone read the give. Matthews runs into Hankey. He's not going to get there. The left, tight end to the right, the give to Howard. He didn't get there. Jerry Howard Jr. driven back. Letting it go. They're going to get it off. First and 10 from the 44 to Howard. Nowhere to go. Jackson Hankey back in. Destin Talbert. Well, 52 was all around the football tonight, and in big situations early in the game, some of those fourth down stops, bowing up, yep. uh, backed up on the fourth down as well with the uh, the end zone uh, right behind us, and, and Jackson was uh, impressive again. He was. He's a, he's a student of the game. Uh, he, he understands everything. He's such a great communicator on the field, getting us in and out of checks, and just has great composure. Uh, there's a reason why he's been a captain. He's still a captain. Uh, he loves this program. We're fortunate to have him here. Young man who walked on, earned a scholarship, and, and has really uh, done a tremendous job of bringing along guys like Luke Wirtz, like Cole Wisniewski. I mean, it, and it goes on and on, uh, Nick Kubitz. And so he's going to leave his impact. Coming up next on the Bison Football Show, Dom Izzo with a feature on the bus. Jalen Bussey, this bus makes house calls. Folks, we'll look at that when we return. Better with Pepsi. beyond the expected to help you leave pain in the past and find your way forward. Orthopedics and sports medicine at Sanford Health. Health lives here. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. And welcome back to the Bison Football Show. Jalen Bussey, an electric player when he has the ball in his hands. He's a fun guy to watch, a fun guy to follow. Dom Mizzo has this week's Olaf Anderson feature story on the bus. Jalen Bussey had the greatest start to a collegiate football career you can have. He played just one game in his freshman year in 2019, but he made it count. Two carries, two touchdowns. It's not common that most people have the success that I have. You know, first career college carry was a touchdown. Second one was a touchdown, and then, you know, coming back, uh, it's definitely a blessing and, uh, you know, can't take it for granted. Ever since, Bussy hasn't stopped hitting home runs. 
He has played in just 10 career games for the Bison. He has seven touchdowns. So long! It's another Tampa touchdown for the Bison! Do the guys give you a hard time? Like, hey, every time you touch the ball, it's a touchdown? Yeah, they do. Uh, you know, they're always asking, like, why, why are you not in the game, whatever. Uh, they're like, sometimes on defense, they're like, can you not touch the ball so we get a break? He's a change of pace back. He's just different in his running style. Uh, he's real patient, and then he can hit it, and then he can go. Um, he does a tremendous job of having the vision of hitting things out the backside. He's got excellent speed, track kid in high school. Um, he, he, it seems like he does score a lot of touchdowns and has big plays. Bussy stands just five foot five, but his blazing speed is what attracted schools to the Tampa Speedster. But Bussy's size scared many off. I heard a lot, actually. You know, from a lot of bigger schools in Florida, you heard it. Um, you know, there's a few schools that didn't want to take a shot, but NDSU was the first one to take one. He may not be on the field much, but he understands his role. You know, sometimes I do want more, uh, but you know, just knowing that it all works out, like uh, I'd say. Just having the success that I have, it shows, it proves that it works, trust in the process, so can't complain too much. Big thanks to Dom Izzo for that Olaf Anderson feature story. Jalen Bussey, yep. and he's he's a fun guy, fun young man, and a fun player to watch on the field for your team. Yes, he's a, he a great character, a great young man, fun to be around, and just continues to gain yards for us. And they're, they're tough yards. He's, it's, it, it's not easy to bring him down. You see opponents struggle. Um, I've talked at, at length that he just brings a different dynamic to the backfield, and he's got a huge role for us, and, and we can. Yep, time now for our Great Clips, Great Question of the Week. Great Clips, it's going to be great. Wayne and Williston with the question this time. You can ask a question to Coach. Go to the WDAY <laughs> Facebook page each week for a chance to ask Coach a question. Bye week coming up. Yeah. What's what's a bye week? You call it Bison Week, right? What's that's, a bye week entail? That, that's what we're going to call it. This it's it's all about getting better. And so we're going to go back, look at ourselves, self scout, anything that's caused us issues, problems, even going back to the spring. We're going to try to stress our guys a little bit, um, make sure that we're prepared moving into what's going to be extremely difficult uh, Missouri Valley Football mm -hmm. League schedule, um, and get healthy. But uh, uh, we're not going to take the, the foot off the gas. We're going to keep moving forward. We're going to continue to challenge our guys. And, and, and more importantly, we're going to create more depth as we go through this next week. You bet. Coming up on the Bison Football Show, one more break. And we take a look at our Peterson Farm Seed future crop of Bison and also our opponent preview of the next game for the Herd. Stay with us on the Bison Football Show. Bison Nation, this is head football coach Matt Entz. With all that goes into leading the Bison to victory, the last thing I want to worry about is the clothing I need to look and feel my best. I shop at Halberstadt's West Acres because I trust that they provide me with everything I need for meetings at the office, press conferences, and casual Bison attire. With plenty of options for sport coats, shirts, denim, suits, shoes, and accessories, I'm confident that when I need anything and everything menswear, Halberstadt's West Acres has me covered. Teamwork, talent, dedication, leadership. These values that win championships on the field also build community, improve lives, A difference every single day for you for our neighbors for our community 
for a better way of life. Gate City Bank. And welcome back to the Bison Football Show. Each and every year in each recruiting class, the Bison pride themselves on finding a top quarterback. Well, in the class of 2021, that was no different as NDSU was able to find Cole Payton, quarterback out of Omaha West Side. Logan Campbell has a profile on Cole in this week's Peterson Farm Seed Future Crop of Bison. Cole Payton, a true freshman out of Omaha, Nebraska, was heavily recruited in high school. But when it came down to making a decision, NDSU was clearly the right place for Peyton. Other than the great reputation here, it was definitely um, how hard they recruited me. Compared to all the other schools, um, I felt like they really cared and really wanted me. Nebraska's Gatorade Player of the Year was getting calls from FBS and FCS coaches around the country. But the connection that he made with quarterbacks coach Randy Hedberg was unmatched. It felt like I was honestly uh, on the phone with Coach Hedberg or one of the other coaches every week, and they were just giving me a bunch of information about the school and culture, and I just really enjoyed that, and it felt more personal than the other schools. When asked at the beginning of the season, the freshman thought his job would be to help the two veteran quarterbacks on the team. I'd say help keep Quincy and Cam in check, um, and uh, I'll, I'll probably be signaling on the sidelines, so um, we've all got a job on the team, and so that's my job this year. But he showed the future is here for the Bison when he scored his first collegiate touchdown against Valpo. Welcome to college football, young man. That's awesome. I'm Logan Campbell reporting. And a big thanks to Logan Campbell for that profile on Cole Payton here in our Peterson Farm Seed future crop of bison. Right when you get a look at Cole Payton, like the bison coaching staff has at fall camp, 6'3", 221 pounds, he definitely looks the part. He caught the attention of his teammates and the coaching staff. There's no doubt about it. Well, it is a bye week coming up for the Herd, but our opponent preview brought to you by Gate City Bank. It's a big one coming up October 2nd. They're all big, there's no question, but the Missouri Valley Football Conference opener at the Olera Center against UND. I know you got some time yep. to, to get ready and think about that, but initial thoughts on Valley play coming up. Well, we're, we're, we're going to utilize next week to make sure that the Bison are in a good spot. And like we talked earlier, we're going to call it Bison Week because it's all about us. Uh, we'll continue to start diving into our next opponent when uh, the time's right. But uh, for the first, right now, we got to make sure we're healthy uh, and make sure that we clean up some of the airs that, that are fixable right now. But uh, we know it's going to be an extremely difficult Missouri Valley schedule, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll have to really get to work in there the near, in the near future. Yep, congratulations. Great Appreciate win. It. Thank you. There you go. The uh, head coach, Matt Entz. I'm Jeff Colhane. 35-7 win, NDSU routing Towson on Saturday, September the 18th. Big thanks to Halberstead's West Acres as well, the official men's clothiers of NDSU Athletics. The Bison are 3-0, folks. Perfect in non-conference play. Enjoy the bye week, and good night, Bison Nation. Today's Bison football show with Coach Matt Entz has been presented by Gate City Bank and Pepsi.